Hey, what's up everybody? This is your man, Coach Cat from Team Cat Fitness. Today, we're gonna do a quick video teaching you how to do incline bench press, okay? Um, incline bench press is gonna work the upper part of your chest. Uh, this video is gonna teach you the proper range of motion, proper hand positioning, and making sure that you utilize the right weight. Uh, the weight that you want to use, especially if you're starting off, you don't want to go heavy. Anytime that you're learning a new workout, you want to make sure that you master your body mechanics. So if you can do a rep range anywhere from 8 to 10 reps for three sets, that's the, the weight you typically want to start off at and prog uh, progressively move up in weight. Uh, you know every single week to make sure that you're challenging the muscles especially if you're trying to build so today we're going to be using the barbell the barbell if you take a, a close look it has two lines on the inner part of the barbell what i like to tell clients is to make sure that you consistently have the right hand placement the line on the inner part what you want to do is take your hand open up your hand nice and wide put your thumb at the edge of that line close your hand make a fist and bring that thumb all the way in and then you're gonna you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side when you're coming down you want to make sure that you're coming to the top portion of your chest coming down not letting the weight fall on you making sure that the weight you can actually control not bouncing it off your chest but fully extending not locking out your elbows but getting in all the way up and coming all the way down another key thing a lot of people want to pay attention to is your breathing. Breathing is key when you're lifting weights. You got to make sure that you're breathing properly so you can explode and get uh, the maximal amount of lifts. So when you're breathing, you want to breathe in the nose as you come down, feeling that chest nice, feeling that chest full of air, and then breathing out as you're coming up. So I'm just going to show you a couple reps over here exactly what it should look like the cool thing is with this particular video you can go to the gym and practice on your own or when you're in class you can actually focus on your body mechanics and then as we go through your your program you can make sure that you're getting the proper lifts each and every week okay so we're going to take a look over here see my hands get set putting my hands at the edge I'm closing my hands bring it into the fist I'm gonna take a breath in get the weight off the bar coming down to my chest I can lightly touch I'm coming down all the way up two three four five six seven eight, nine, and 10. Set it back. As you guys progress in your weightlifting, once your rep range starts to go lower, um, you're lifting heavier weights, you definitely want to have somebody there to spot you. Um, but if you're using a little bit lighter weight, anything that you can do eight to 10 reps, um, like I said, it's always good to have a spotter, but you know, it, as long as you feel safe that you're doing it, you know, you don't necessarily need a spotter, uh, but it's all on how your body feels at the end of the day. So make sure that you're practicing this at least uh, once to twice a week. I would say normally if you're doing chest on, you know, a Monday, let your chest rest after doing chest you can do it the following Friday or the upcoming Friday as well, okay? So if you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification button, boop, right there uh, for more great tricks and tips on how to help you grow with your fitness journey. Make sure you stay tuned every single week. We're gonna have a new video to help you out. And guess what? We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.